Hi there, I am Dr. Adora Ozodi and I'm a pediatric infectious disease specialist in Louisiana, here with an update on COVID-19 in children. I know that a lot of parents have been hearing the news about this new scary sounding syndrome which is making some children sick. At the beginning of this pandemic, we believed that children were having it relatively easy with COVID-19. However, in the past few weeks, we have seen a spike in the number of children who are very ill to the point that they require intensive care. The CDC has now given the syndrome an official name. It's called MISC, and that stands for Multisystem Inflammatory Syndrome in Children. Some people refer to it as PIMS or PMIS, which stands for Pediatric Multisystem Inflammatory Syndrome. As with most things COVID, we are still learning about this new syndrome, but what we think is going on is that this is a post-infectious phenomenon, and that means that this is the immune system reacting to an infection which happened several weeks earlier. So what are the features of MISC and what should you as a parent look out for? The message that we're trying to get out there to parents is that with MISC, early treatment is key to ensuring that the child has a good outcome. So this is one where we really need to see the child immediately, especially at this time when a lot of parents are shying away from the hospital because they are afraid that the child will get COVID in the hospital. The symptoms of MISC are similar to the symptoms of another disease that we see in pediatrics, which we call Kawasaki disease. There is a little bit of overlap with yet another one called toxic shock syndrome. The symptoms include a high fever, which lasts several days, a fussy or irritable child, a lethargic child, a skin rash, red eyes, red swollen tongue, which we refer to as a strawberry tongue, and large lymph nodes on the neck, red, swollen, and sometimes painful hands and feet. A lot of these children with MISC are also complaining or presenting with abdominal pain, vomiting, and diarrhea. Some children are so ill that they present in shock or heart failure. We say a child has MISC when they have the symptoms that I just talked about and they test positive for the coronavirus, either from a nose swab or a blood test, or even when they test negative, they have been exposed to someone with coronavirus in the past four weeks. The way that we treat children with MISC is similar to the way that we treat children with Kawasaki disease and toxic shock syndrome. A lot of pediatricians are familiar with treating Kawasaki disease. With the treatment, we want to suppress that hyperimmune response, which is causing all that inflammation. So we give aspirin to suppress the inflammation. Aspirin is an anti-inflammatory agent. We also give IVIG, which stands for intravenous immunoglobulin, and that is a plasma product that contains antibodies to help calm that immune response. Some children may not respond to these and they may need steroids or other stronger anti-inflammatory medications. Although there have been a few fatalities from MISC, the good news is that a lot of children who have MISC have recovered fully. For more information on infectious diseases, including COVID-19, please subscribe to my channel or visit my website, drzodi.com, and the link is below. Thank you.